Good morning guys, today is Wednesday. I am actually now about to dye my hair because it's going really light again. It's almost a month since I dyed it last time and the blonde is coming through. So I thought this was the perfect day to do it because I don't have any plans today. All the kids are at school and I thought I'm gonna get this done. I've been to the gym this morning and I went for a walk. I'm feeling really low in mood and it is because my period is gonna be here in like eight days it says and about 10 days before i get such a low mood like i literally feel miserable and i've been on my instagram this morning like talking about it on stories because i don't know what to do like i started taking some vitamins and then i worried i was taking too many vitamins so i stopped taking them I don't know how to fix this. I don't know if it's my age. I don't know, like, I know we have hormonal changes. Like, it is hard. I'm just, the last few months have actually been, like, the worst for it. It seems to be getting worse as time is going on. Yeah, I kind of had a little meltdown about all of that today. And as well, like, once I start thinking about one thing, it then leads me on to another thing. And then I'm thinking about like being at home on my own because Manny's going to school and I'm panicking that I don't have enough time with him, like because he's going in September. And then when September comes, like what am I gonna do with myself? Like what is my purpose? All of it is just too much for me especially when it is this close and i'm in this period of post pit post pre-period so if anybody else like if you have any tips just let me know so yeah i thought maybe this is a good idea every 10 days or so before this is gonna happen i'm gonna start doing self-care things to take care of my mind, body and soul and make me feel like happier. Because I don't really have anything to be unhappy about and that's the thing, like, I don't know why I feel so low and miserable most of the time and I'm so snappy and I don't wanna feel like that and I don't wanna be like that. So I think that's the best thing to do moving forward. Yeah, if you do have like any experience taking vitamins, for like the last year, I have been taking the hair, skin and nails gummies. Like I see a lot of people taking them. I thought I would give them a go because they're easy to take, like they're little gummies, they taste really good. But when I actually looked on the back of them, so say a vitamin D capsule, vitamin D in here, this little gummy is only five and i don't know what this is it's like a u and then a g but it's five ug whereas if i take one of these these are 25 so i'm thinking like really is this a big enough dose to like make a difference or am i better to actually just take the vitamin d capsules so i've got the vitamin d free and then I've got the evening primrose oil and I got this because I was reading the reviews online and people were saying it really helped them hormonally through the month with mood swings and like skin and all of that sort of stuff. And as well, my skin really breaks out in this like 10 day period. So I've got really loads of little spots coming up here and there and everywhere. And I did think like, is this like some kind of allergy because i got a really bad reaction recently to like bleach or hair dye it was one of the two when i went to the hairdresser and i had a rash come up all down the side of my body and all over my back so i was thinking like is something just going on with my skin to make me have all this like going wrong with my skin like am i eating something because on my back as well now I had a rash all down my side, which is gone. But on my back, it's more like a change in color on my skin. So like, it almost looked like the start of psoriasis. Like I've had eczema before on my arms here and I haven't had that since I was 16. I used sunbeds back then and it completely disappeared. So I thought I would take them. And then my hair, <laughs> I feel like, 
I need a good MOT because so much is going wrong and I don't know why. So with my hair, I have to wash it like every couple of days. So what I try and do is have like two days of hair down and then one day of hair up um, and slick it back like this. And I tried the whole training your hair thing and like not washing it for a long period of time. So then it trains to be less oily, but it just didn't work. I tried it for months. Like this was last year. I think I've even spoken about it on here. Didn't work. So now I've just come to the realization that I need to wash my hair, which is fine. So anyway, I started taking some biotin because that's obviously why I got these. But biotin in these, it only has 150 UG. Whereas in one of these capsules, I think, what did it have? 900 UG. So that is a big difference. So these ones were actually Will's because he obviously had his hair transplant. And he bought these, I think he saw someone on Instagram using them because biotin was sold out on my vitamins. So he's given me them. That's like the little concoction that I'm taking, but I'm just like, I'm worried that I'm taking this and I shouldn't be. Really like panic with taking any medications or anything like that. And I know these aren't medication, but I just don't want to make myself worse basically. And then... Obviously I was thinking about all of that and whilst I was on the website, I was having a look at collagen and then I was like, like, do I need to start taking that? Because I do have some wrinkles. I've had Botox before. I haven't had it probably for like a year and a half maybe now. It literally lasts about three months. So I don't know. Like that is an expensive thing to keep getting done when it doesn't last. I think I had it about three or four times. That is what has been on my mind today. So to counteract all of that and make myself feel better, we're dyeing the hair. So I'm actually using this brand. It's the Clarol Professional Colour Studio. And it's in the colour Dark Brownie. It looks like that. And with this hair colour, you actually buy like the pre-care and protect pre-colour serum. So I put this on now, like when my hair is dry and just cover that in it. I then put this in the bowl, the little bowl. I bought that from Boots as well and the brush. And then you can obviously use that to section and this to apply it on. Like the actual top of my hair really doesn't look bad at all. Like I wouldn't need to dye it if this blondie tone wasn't coming through it's a bit orangey and that just makes me unhappy like look at that so that is why <coughs> i'm dying it i've also got the 100 day cough don't know if anyone else has got that but that <coughs> that is horrible we're gonna apply the pre-color serum first and i'm also gonna be using this because i got hair dye all over the floor last time and i know we're not keeping the carpet but it looks a mess and i don't want to make it any worse so how did this work i actually got this off amazon what even is it where's the like the neck bit there it is so let's get putting this on It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe. Cause you're all that I crave, so I wanna. That is my hair all dyed and washed. I'm now getting the hair dryer. My GHD one broke. I was so sad about it. And I looked at getting a different one. I was looking at the Shark Flexi Styler. Um, but I think it's like 300 pounds. So 
Anyway, I've sold my old laptop and I'm going to put the money towards that. So I need to order that really. But I was thinking maybe I should wait for like an offer day, you know. Even though I probably have just missed that because Easter holidays. Probably would have had a bank holiday sale. Anyway, I'm using this little L1 from B&M, which is um, Ava Lily's that she uses it for like painting and stuff as well. You can see all the paint on there. I'm gonna dry my hair, curl it, and then I think it's time to, oh, hello. <laughs> I think it's time to pick up Ava Lily, actually. Pick up Ava Lily? No, pick up Manny and Marley, Ava Lily does not get picked up anymore. Oh, I love a good head massage. Does anybody else? <laughs> oh, so nice. Are we looking brown? I think we actually are. Oh God, is that not took that bit? No, I think it's okay. Imagine if we never had like any hair brushes or hair products or anything to look after ourselves. Oh, Ava Lily always tells me off for brushing my hair down top to bottom. Oh, no, it actually looks black. I don't know if it's because like I'm wearing a black t-shirt and my face looks really pale. Can you remember this part in? <laughs> oh, side part. And I'm just gonna put some of this heat protector on. It's that one, I got that from Home Bargains. And I'm also going to put some of this on, the Colour Wow Pop and Lock. I really love this. I actually really like this for when your hair is dry and you style the curls and then you put it on after. It gives such a nice shine. Let's dry my hair. Don't hide away from me when I need you most. Right, that is hair done. So I'm feeling much better about that. I just put a little wave in it because I'm now heading out to the school run. But yeah, I'm much happier with that. So it's actually Friday today. I had a very busy Thursday yesterday. I took Manny to a trampoline park. We then grabbed a little bit of lunch and I had a shop in Primark. I was feeling a little bit down as you know. So I thought, why not go and treat myself? I really manifested Primark being good that day because I haven't had a day like that in Primark for a long time. So I have got a Primark haul, which you probably would have already seen because I'm gonna try and film it Saturday and get it up Sunday because it has some really good bits in but my door just went this is the reason I'm sitting down now and I have a H&M haul uh, I have this huge box as well so I went on there originally to do an order for the boys for holiday because we go next month come on I'm gonna have to just get her to come up here because she's gonna be really noisy meowing if not you are always around. Do you know what she did the other day? <sighs> she had done the most disgusting poo and because she is so fluffy, you can imagine the state that she got herself in. So me and Will both had to like pin her down, cut all her hair and give her a wash. She was not very happy with us, but she is a lot cleaner now and she can groom herself again because I couldn't let her groom herself. She would have literally been eating her own poo, so no. We're going on holiday in May. So we've got like 30 days, I think it is. Um, so yeah, I've bought some bits. I've also bought, I've bought trousers and I don't really know why I've done this. Anyway, the first thing that I've ordered is for the boys. I will get into my things. Um, but I know some of you have got kids, so I'll share them anyway. Um, are these green 
little chinos um, because I got a pair like this in Primark for Manny but they didn't have them in the bigger size for Marley because he's now in like the next bit of the boys whereas Manny's in like the younger bit. Last year they were both in the younger bit and then the year before that Manny was in the baby bit and Marley was in the younger bit so like now they're hopped along each age and I couldn't get them so I went on Google and I just typed in like green chinos and these came up they got really like I love the black detail and I love the boys to be matching on holiday so I picked those up I'm sure they had like a sale as well um when I ordered all of this stuff and then in here we have got whose is this one this is Marley's one but I managed to get them two match on ones of these because H&M go up to 8 to 10. I thought this would be so nice for on holiday because it has like all the palm trees on it and like a little surfers board. Um, so I just really love things like this, like in the evening with a nice pair. I want to get actually like some white chino shorts to go with this. So they've both got one of them. I really love that. Anything I can, I'll link it below. Because I think these were like 2 99 those t-shirts. And they have so many designs. I then got them, what are these ones? Pocket shorts. These must be the same, but they're in different packaging. Black chinos. Um, I just love these on the boys in the evening. So they've both got a pair of black green i got cream in primark and what was the other color i got in primark oh, i got them a denim like pair of jean shorts they're really nice as well so they are what i got for the boys and then let me open this box it's actually like um well i think i already said it's like quarter past five and um Will's bringing home a Chinese tonight, so I'm so looking forward to it. We haven't had one in a while, so I can't wait. I'm so hungry. I've been food shopping all day. I've been to Home Bargains, guys. I'm also going to have a Home Bargains haul coming, which you'll see after this. I've spent £75 in there. And I also think I'm going to get a parking ticket because... The car park now where Home Bargains and Aldi is, you're only allowed 90 minutes. Like, I'm sorry, but that is just not enough to go around Home Bargains and Aldi and have a good look. And I went over by 15 minutes, so I've got my receipts. I'm thinking if they send me a ticket, I'm going to contest it. But how annoying is that? So, what have we got in here? Let's have a little look. So, I have ordered quite a few pairs of like flared linen -y trousers because I think they're quite nice for spring. And I've got like some flared trousers, but they're joggers and they're so thick. Even like when the sun's out and it's warm, they're too much. So, these are very long. <laughs> I'm five foot four, so. What I'll do is I'll try them on and I'll insert a little clip here so you can see. These are the linen blend trousers. I got some that were $12.99 and I think it's these ones. So they've got pockets and I got them in black. They do look really nice actually. They're really lovely quality. And they've got like a little tie waist here. So that is them. And then I have the same ones of those in cream. These are a really lovely cream. I feel like sometimes I tried a trench coat on the other day in cream and it just really washed me out. And I don't know why. But yeah, these are the linen blend. So these must be the $12.99 ones. I got a small, so we'll see how they fit. Um, but this is, you'll be able to see them a bit more now. It literally looks like a bed sheet, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, little pockets and I wonder if they're going to be like how high waisted on me. Because I was also on TikTok and I was having a little look at body shapes and what clothes like suit me the best. Because I feel like I've got a really long torso and shorter legs. My waist is really small but my hips are a lot bigger since i've had the kids 
um, but my chest as well, I feel like this top bit here is really long. And whether that's from like feeding or I just always think I've had a really long top body. But I was having a look at like some clothes when I was in Primark the other day trying them on. And I know now like a v-neck doesn't suit me. I can't wear like a t-shirt, anything like that because it makes it look more long. I watched another video and they said about crop tops because I often do wear a high-waisted trouser which they said I should be wearing because it enhances my waist and then gives me like more proportion. But the crop top, if I wear that, I really need to be wearing a top tucked in because the crop top doesn't work with my type of body shape, apparently. But then I do notice things because like body suits don't fit me. Like I can't ever do them up. And then if I buy a bigger size, they're always baggy under the arms. And I bought a top from H&M not so long ago. I think I actually shared it in a vlog. And when Will took a picture of me, like sitting opposite him at the table when we went to dinner, it made my boobs look really long, like because of how it came down, it had like a zip in the middle and it was a round neck. In the photo, it just looked really odd. I said to him, like, because he put it on Instagram, on his stories, because we were obviously on date night having some food and he took a picture of the food <laughs> and my boobs were just in the background. And I was like, I can't believe you've posted that because obviously we had a couple of drinks came home, went to bed, and then I saw it in the morning and I was like horrified, I was like, oh my God. And then ever since then, I don't want to wear that top anymore because it makes me feel like really conscious about the whole boob area and they look really big as well. So yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm getting to know my body a lot better and what I can wear and what I can't, what looks good, what, what enhances my body shape, so. I feel like we're always learning with these things and a lot of the time as well I'm still buying like the same things I would have bought like 10 years ago. So I'm like a mum and I'm kind of like stuck in that era of like trying to be my old self but I'm my new self now so yeah hopefully I don't know why I've gone off on a tangent but hopefully I like these linen trousers and then what else have i got in here so this is a small this must be mine let's have a little look so these are joggers by the looks of it oh yeah just plain joggers with a cuffed bottom and a cuffed top i obviously just thought i'd get these for sort of like every day or these look really nice with a top tucked in, no more crop tops. <laughs> so I'll give those a go. They do look a bit small. I don't know, I really fluctuate in size as well because that week before my period, I just feel like my tummy is so bloated. Whereas the week after, I have a really flat stomach. I also picked up some jeans. I'm excited to try these on because I have tried so many pairs of jeans. I know now that mum jeans don't suit me. They're too, like they fit me around the tummy and they look really nice there. But as they go in down the bottom, you know how they have that like smaller ankle? it makes me look a really funny shape. So now I've gone for, I think these were a 90 straight jean in a size eight. Actually, I got the wide high waist. I don't know, are they gonna fit me? Why? I don't know if it's because I'm sitting down, but all of these look so long. Like that's more than the length of my whole body. But is that really gonna fit me? I just really hope they do because I would really love a pair of jeans to start styling up. Another thing I've been doing as well is going on to Pinterest and looking at like spring outfits and just finding how to piece things together because I don't really know how to. I feel like I forgot when I was younger and I didn't have the kids, like literally clothes was my thing. Like I loved shopping and I had a really, well, I could dress myself. And ever since then, 
I don't feel like I can. These are a different linen trouser. These ones don't have the drawstring. These are more of a tailored one. Look, they have pockets at the back. I don't know if you can see this. And pockets in the side. And then down the front, they have a line. These look really nice. I don't know how much these ones were. Let me just have a quick check on the H&M app. Linen blend trousers, $22.99, which I think is these. Linen blend pull-on, so those ones were actually $15.99. So I'm excited to try these. I really hope the length is okay. If not, I probably will still keep them and I'll get some of that, um, what is it, the Wonderweb? You know where you like fold them over and then you like iron that material stuff in? I'll give that a go. Hopefully I like them because I actually think I prefer these ones. Well, saying that though, I really like the cream. So maybe I'll keep these and the cream depending on how they fit. Because I don't really need like this black pair because I also bought a linen like, well, it's a bikini cover up trouser like this as well i think i'm just going over the top like i'm forgetting what i've got so then here so what's this then hi manny why have you put your jammies on Good because i think it's getting nearly dark or something it's not getting dark and do you want to go for a walk later oh yeah you better put your clothes back on love right and what if I, i've ordered Mum, I don't care, Mum. Oh, I've ordered a wide leg jogger. <laughs> I don't know how many pairs of these I need. And they're all black, but we'll try them on. My joggers, $12.99. Do these have pockets? Oh, they do have pockets. I really do like a pocket. And they do have um, a drawstring waist. I just have to see if like how high-waisted they are. But they're quite nice as well, because my other ones... I like this but they're really thick and they're really old now I've had them probably for like two years or more I think I had them in the old house and I've lived here for two years so yeah that's them I also had a little Amazon order come just now I picked up some more of the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm I went for the rose one this time I have had it before um, but I normally get the yellow one. I thought I'd have a change. And actually, they do a fig one now. They also do a white one, but that doesn't have a scent. So if anyone's tried the fig one, can you let me know? Because I don't really know what figs smell like. And I don't want to, like, chance it. Because it's obviously, like, expensive. And I don't like it. But, oh, I love the rose one. I actually think I like the rose one more than the yellow one now I've had it. Got that. I'm excited to use that. I feel like that's such a luxury to like cleanse your face with that. It's really nice. I also picked up a new setting spray. So I used to always go for the MAC Fix Plus. I then thought, shall I change it? Like, could there be a better one? Went for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Spray. I don't know what it's called. And to be honest, I still think I would go back to the MAC one because there was nothing that said to me, this is better than that. And so I was on Amazon and I thought, I'm going to try another one. I went for the Elf Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I have heard good things about the Elf brand and I do have some of their makeup actually. So let's give this a little go. I think the coconut sold it to me and I really love like a glowy base. So I think that's why I went for it. Oh, I know what sold it to me. I was on TikTok and someone was testing setting sprays and what she did is put like a line on her arm of lipstick sprayed it with the setting spray let it dry and then wiped over it and this one didn't budge so i was like i'm gonna go for that because this was like seven pounds it is so nice it smells so good obviously i don't really have any makeup left on because i've run out of setting spray and it's now the night time but 
That is so refreshing as well, like it really is. Do you know what this would be nice for, holiday? That would be so good for that. Oh, I'll let you know how I get on with that, but I'm really liking that so far. And then to continue my glow up, I also got a new gel nail polish. It's from this brand. I've got one from that already. So we've got a little lamp here because I stopped having my nails done. I think I've already mentioned this. But they're literally breaking so much and I've got 30 days till holiday. So I thought if I put some gel on it, I might be able to grow them just a little bit to have them nice for holiday. This is a really nice like pink colour. I don't normally have colours like this. But... I thought when they're short, and I did buy a pink t-shirt the other day, I feel like I'm coming out of my comfort zone a little bit, so I'm going to put this on. I was going to do it tonight, but what's the time now? 20 to 6, so I don't know if I'm going to have enough time, because by the time we eat, we go for a walk, I'll probably be getting in bed, because I've got to do hair wash tonight. I might find a little time. But yeah, that's all. So I've just finished trying on all of these and I've decided to return this pile and I have kept the linen blend with the line down. I just felt that they were very similar to the drawstring one. However, the length on these was so much better. So I decided to keep those. I felt like they looked a little bit smarter as well. So if you wanted to wear them, you know on a summer evening when you're out like I don't know, having drinks or something, that would be nice. And then I've also kept the joggers because I just felt they were really easy to wear. They were comfortable and yeah, I need them for like just days at home. So yeah, this is the box so I can do my returns. I'm going to get that done today. I've got a bag to go to charity and this is all of my Primark haul, vintage stuff and summer bits that I also need to try on and if not put on vintage but yeah I'm gonna end the video here I hope you've enjoyed spending some of the week with me I may film one for next week but I've just popped up a Primark haul and I've got a home bargains haul coming so I need to film that but yeah I hope that you've all had a lovely week so far and I will see you in my next video bye guys